Hi. No. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I don't know how to open it. One eternity later. All right, y'all. What's up? My name is Michael Sanchez, and this is going to be my first real YouTube video. And so I decided that this... <laughs> You're moving around so quietly. I'm so sorry. I don't interrupt, bro. I can't do this. I'm not good for this. this is, the perfect thing is, you can just keep on going, and, and you can matter. edit. Hey, y'all. What's up? It is Michael Sanchez, and welcome to my channel. Insert opening. So for my first video ever, I decided to do a Q&A so we can get to know each other, right? So I asked my Instagram, which you can follow me at Michael Sanchez underscore official to ask me questions for this first video. So let's bring them up real quick. So the first question is, is Moonlight, is it real or fake? I mean, that's a very scientific question, and I'm not smart, so I think Moonlight is real, but of course I'd probably have to, like, go into the theory of, like, what, like, conspiracy theory this is, because I don't think I've ever looked into this. I've looked into, like, we've never been on the moon before, which I totally agree with that, but y'all probably think I'm crazy if I say that, but... I think Moonlight's real. I think the moon is real. But then I also think inside, like internally, like, is space real? Is space real? Are we living in the matrix? Are we living in the matrix? Are we alive? Are you breathing? Who knows? But to that person, actually, that was my cousin who asked that question. Steven underscore Paul underscore second, who is also a producer, who is also a mixer, master, and he has music out, so you should go check him out. <laughs> the next question is from Robin Jungers, my manager. And is, who is Michael Sanchez? Michael Sanchez is a 20-something-year-old person who sings R&B pop, what I like to call like rhythmic pop music, who is fun, crazy, outgoing, sporadic wild free pretty open-minded and very very intuitive with who i am as a person i know who i am i think i've lived long enough to figure that out and of course there's always space to change but michael sanchez is like the <laughs> Next question is, if you could get one call from one celebrity tomorrow, who would it be and why? Um, if there was one person I got a call from tomorrow. Whew, sheesh. A motherfucking, uh, uh, damn, hell, uh, uh, fuck it. Yikes. I don't know. I don't think it would be like a celebrity. It would be uh, like the label head at Island Def Jam or the label head at like any big record label being like, Michael Sanchez, we need you here tomorrow. And we're signing you for $10 million. And I'm going to be like, yeah, that would be like the celebrity call that I want to get. But to dumb it down to like a celebrity that I'd like a call from, probably like Drake or... Like Justin Bieber, if they were to like call and be like, hey, we want you to work on their next album or we want you to do a feature or we want you to do stuff like that because I'd be down for that. Like, fly me out, you know? So if you're watching, <laughs> fly me out. Favorite show at the moment. Yikes. It's the Fosters. And I know I'm late because the series is already over, but I just started watching the Fosters like last week. And I'm already almost finished with season five. The show is crazy. I probably cry every other day. Um, and the only reason I started watching it is because Good Trouble uh, came on. And I watched the episode not even knowing what it really was. And I thought it was pretty good. And so I was like, maybe I should watch The Fosters before I watch this. Because I need to know what happens in case they like bring it up in this series. And Sierra Ramirez is fine. Shout out to you. 
you're from Houston, I'm from Dallas, aka Grand Prairie, so I'm a car right away, just let me know. What's one of the biggest things on your bucket list involving music from Jaden Owens to S? Two S's. There's a lot of people with double letters, which I understand because you need a new, you need a good Instagram name, and I feel that. One of the biggest things on the bucket list involving music. Wow, that's crazy. I for sure, at least one world tour, and we're talking about like me headlining, this being like my dream tour ever, where I'm. I'm performing over 150 shows all across the world type thing, like, and they're sold out. That's probably like my biggest music aspirations where I'm playing like Madison Square Garden and American Airlines Center and the Staples Center. And then I'm flying over to go to London and perform over there at their huge arena stadiums. And just, that's like my biggest goal. When's your next album coming out? Well, my next album, which is going to be an EP and extended play, will be dropping on February 14th, God willing that everything is finished by then. And it's called 90s Crush, and it has a 90s vibe, and it's just, it literally happened out of nowhere. I was just, I was writing a lot of songs for this next project that I have later coming out of the year. And these songs just didn't fit because they're about love, and I'm just not in that time space or like headspace right now because I'm not in love. I'm not infatuated with anybody but I didn't want these songs to go to waste and so 90s crush ended up being like a whole vibe like a whole just like have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could like vibe <laughs> of music that is just so dope and so, so cool to me because it, it ended up being something that I never thought that it was going to be. I just thought it was going to be really basic and there's so many levels to it and it's just very sing-along-y and I mean, one of the tracks is called 90s Teen Movies and 90s Teen Movie and it's going to be a bop. Like, you're going to listen to it on replay for a week or the rest of the year, you know? So that's when my next... EP is dropping. How often do you travel for music is the next question. And I would say whenever somebody wants me to come out, I'll go. No matter where, um, no matter where or when, honestly, it just depends on my schedule from like my daily life and like my family life or just what's going on. If you want me to go to Austin, I'll go. If you want me to go to LA, I'll go. If you want me to go to New York, I'll go. Um, Russia's reached out to us to come out there, um, which kind of scares me because that's far. And I've never been there before. And I feel like I need to have like a whole team to go. But definitely like I'll go anywhere. Um, I would love to travel more for music. And I'd love to be on like a set tour. So if anybody needs an opener, I'm your man. <laughs> but for real. Hey, I want to be famous. When did you start music is the next question. I started music about like right after high school. And it was just like me and my friends playing around. I started off rapping at first. And if you got to watch those early videos, shout out to you. But those have been taken down because I never want those to see the light of day. But <laughs> we grew from that. And I ended up going to the studio like all the way up after high school for about a good two to three years just trying to find my sound trying to find who I was and I actually have like a whole like 15 track album that never came out um from it because it's just not what I wanted out and it wasn't the best that I thought that I could possibly do so we went back into the studio and I ended up recording Lost in Translation which came out in 2015 then we ended up putting out a bunch of EPs I put out four EPs in 2017 which all went with the seasons and like a relationship that I had in the past. And now we're on to this next music. So I would say I fully started music to get your, your, you know, your question answered. In a long periodically time. Fully like wholeheartedly started music probably three years ago, probably 27, 2015, sorry. 2015 is probably when I started. 
like full fledged like performing shows, like finding my sound, my music on like streaming sites three years ago. Is your love life like is the next question. My love life is My love like is non-existent is the word that I've been trying to find for the past 30 seconds. Our next question is, at some point, do you think one should be, or, next question is, and this is from Clean As Paper. Clean As Paper is this dope artist. Like, she's dope. Like, go check out her Instagram page. She is really good. Her question is, at some point, do you think one should be realistic about pursuing dreams or should one never give up? That's a really tough question because I find myself questioning every single thing that I do every week. But there's always these moments where, like, the universe or God is like, Psh this is why you're doing what you're doing. This is why everything's happening the way it's happening. And I feel like if you have a dream, you pursue it till you you honestly can't breathe anymore. Like, who's to stop you? Who's to stop you from doing that? Like, I feel like the only people that stop you from living your dream or like pursuing your dreams are yourself. It's all about you and all, all about how you want to work and how you how you perceive yourself because honestly I can eat sleep dream that I will be on a stage one day where I'm selling out Madison Square Garden where I'm winning Grammy Awards where I'm winning Oscar Awards because I I have those dreams in my head and I honestly think that like God does not put a dream in your head that you can't achieve like why would I ever dream about this stuff not everybody dreams about the things that we each personally dream of you know Because I heard about you. I was waiting on you at the door. Your phone says it's time to work out. Never give up. Period. Point blank. Never give up. If it's what you're passionate about, if it's your dream, why give up on yourself? I feel like when you give up on a dream, you give up on yourself. And me, and this are just, these are just my personal beliefs. I'm not, like, I'm doing this until I make it. And honestly, last month was, I had this, this show in Dallas, or no, this show in Fort Worth, sorry, where I was performing for Smooth Vega, shout out to Smooth Vega, for his album release. And I honestly thought last month was going to be my last show. So when I got on stage that night, I got on, and for 15 minutes of my set, I don't remember going on or going off, but I remember that it was my best show that I've ever had. And I feel like it's moments like that that recharge your dream that just make you think like I can do this and I know I can do it it's just that doubt and it's the devil and it's all that that evilness of the world that tries to bring you down so don't let it so don't let it and this is my TED talk but that's the end of the questions. And I actually took some out because some of y'all were really inappropriate. I heard that you're nasty. You're nasty. You little nasty. Little nasty. I hope to be updating this channel every month or at least weekly. Hopefully, if I have the time. I, if you have like suggestions of what I should do next or what you want to watch, comment below. You can follow me on Instagram at Michael Sanchez underscore official, or you can find me at michaelsanchezofficial.com. I have a lot of stuff dropping, a lot of content coming, so I hope you stay tuned. And I have merch coming real soon that was actually made by Kyler, this amazing artist. I don't know how to end this. I hope these get better. I hope y'all stay tuned. I don't know what to do with my hands, but we're going to keep it popping, keep it pushing, and 2019 is going to be it. I'm Michael Sanchez, and yeah!